we're going to be showing you how to make some projects using Hobbycraft's Lino Printing Kit. We're going to be showing you two projects, a fabric mini banner and some printed artwork. We'll also show you what's inside the kit so that you're familiar with it. So keep watching and we'll show you how to make them. For these projects you'll need the Lino Printing Kit, blank cards, tracing or parchment paper, a sheet of white felt, a length of dowel, some black wool and a glue gun or some strong glue. So inside the lino kit you will find a roller, two lino sheets, black printing ink, a cutter handle, three lino cutter blades and the roller tray. So to get started with the lino cutter, attach the blades by unscrewing the handle, push the blades in place and tighten. Before you start cutting your art, it's a good idea to practice on a scrap of lino sheet first. This will allow you to try out some different blades and give you an idea of how firmly to press and how deeply to cut. Once you've had some practice, sketch out your designs on some paper so that you know what you want to do. Then you can copy this image onto the lino sheets. So to begin, use the cutter to slowly and carefully cut away from the lino. Push the blades firmly and away from yourself, including your fingers. Use the wider blade to remove larger areas from the lino sheet. If you're cutting curved shapes like these clouds, it can help to move the sheet around rather than the blade. The cutaway sections will be white in the print and everything left uncut will be black. For the card print, cut around the outside of the design. This will save you from having to carve all the outside areas away. Mark on the back of the lino where the top and bottom of the design is so that you can centre it easily on the paper. Add ink to the tray and roll to spread it evenly into a thin layer onto the tray. Roll the ink onto your lino sheet. Make sure all the uncut lino is covered with a thin layer of ink. Now do a test print on a scrap of paper to test it out. If any ink has got into the cut sections and printed, you can remove this now with the cutter. Once you're happy with the test, line up your lino onto the card and press down firmly all over. Peel away to reveal your design. For the felt wall hanging, write your text out in pencil on a piece of tracing paper. Flip this around and line it up on the lino. Then go over the writing in pencil, pressing down hard to make a mark onto the lino. You can then sketch out the rest of your design as before on the sheet and cut it out. Press the lino onto the centre of the fabric. Felt is a really good medium to print on. Then measure and cut the felt into a banner shape. Make tassels by winding black wool around your fingers about 20 times. Remove the wool and tie another piece around one end. Trim through the loops at the other end. For this project, you'll need five tassels. Add a length of glue to the back of the banner and place the dowel on top. Roll it up to glue in place and conceal. Glue tassels onto the back of the banner. Space them evenly onto the bottom of the felt. Finally, tie on some black wool to the ends of the dowel to allow you to hang the banner up. You can add a dot of glue to the back to ensure it doesn't slide off. So there we go, this is a fantastic little kit, perfect for starting out in lino printing. Now if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content. 